Hello, everybody. Happy 4th of July. What a gorgeous day it is here in Southern California. And I'm so looking forward to fireworks tonight and just celebrating independence. And I just love today. Anyway, so this week, I told you I'd be back with good news, right? Um, this week, the scale, <laughs> the scale was kind of um, wagging me around a little bit. And I know better than that. I know better than to let the scale determine what kind of day I'm going to have. Uh, but it kept getting stuck. It was bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. So last week, I weighed in at 230.4. And this week, I weighed in at 228.4. So that's another two pound loss, which takes me, <laughs> I'm so close, you guys. It takes me to minus 19.6 pounds. So I'm four tenths of a pound away from that 20 pound mark. And hopefully when I see you next week, I will be at that 20 pound mark. But in the meantime, I have to exercise some patience. So some of you have been wondering what I have been doing. And um, I wanted to show you this book, which is, I don't know, I think I may have shared this with you last year. Um, it's The Obesity Code by Jason Fung. And it is just an amazing book. Interestingly enough, you know, it was on my bookshelf. I didn't even have to go out and buy this again, but, um, it, he, um, Jason Fung is a nephrologist. He's a doctor who works with patients who are obese, patients who are trying to turn around metabolic dysfunction, patients who are trying to turn around, obviously, liver disease because he is a nephrologist. So he wrote this book um, just to educate people on what metabolic dysfunction is and how we can change it, how we can kind of turn back time. And he promotes fasting and a low carb diet. So you know how I feel about keto and I may have to change my mind about keto now that my body is working better with the thyroid intact. Um, but I'm still not 100% on keto because I, I, I just can't. <laughs> That's just the truth, I just can't. So it's summertime and we have those lovely Rainier cherries do you know what I'm talking about? The yellow and red cherry. Oh my gosh, they're just so delicious. And they only come out for a very short amount of time. And I'm like, I'm eating those cherries. So I have been eating Rainier cherries all, all this week too. Um, so delicious. But I do try to keep my carbs down lower. I am kind of um, cognizant of that. The other thing that Dr. Fung promotes is fasting. And that may be new to some of you. Fasting, um, we, we all fast overnight, right? You go to bed and then you wake up in the next morning and have breakfast and that's when you break your fast. Um, Dr. Fung likes to extend those hours a bit more so that perhaps you don't eat until lunch the next day. And so you just get a few more hours of fasting in. And what that does is that enables your insulin levels to come way, way down. And that's where our body wants to be. Our insulin levels need to be lower than they are when we're eating potato chips and cookies and Doritos and hot dogs and all of that. So I am very carefully following what he is saying. The science behind it makes sense to me. Um, I'm seeing the changes in my body that are just happening. Really, they're happening so quickly, but it seems slow to me because <laughs> I just want the weight off. So I have to work on that mindset. But um, anyway, if you haven't read this book and you are struggling with your weight and you're struggling with losing the pounds, check out the obesity code. See if it makes sense to you. Like whatever you do has to make sense for you. It has to work and fit into your lifestyle. Um, and this just happens to go hand in hand with how I like to eat. So I'm really happy about that. So anyway, you guys go out, enjoy your 4th of July, and I will see you next week. Thanks for listening to me. Bye-bye.